All right, welcome everyone. Here is the video review for the Fans Hobby Master Builder MB26A, the Red Saber Team. And it's exactly what the title says. It is the Saber Team in transparent red plastic with uh, similar paint apps and some different paint apps from the originals. But uh, just, yeah, just the same Saber Team in translucent red plastic. Um, we won't dwell too, too much on it. I'm going to do both of these new Minicon teams, this and the Shield team, from Robot Mode to Alt Mode to their Weapon Shield modes, because that's the easiest way to do it. Um, and also with the Saber team, we've already seen them in their regular forms, so we've already gone through it, so we're not going to dwell too, too much on the transformations. Every, aside from the, the plastic and the paint, um, everything is exactly the same. Transformation is exactly the same, end result is exactly the same, just red. So yeah. Just push his little head down, pop his little head down in his body, flip this piece up. Um, there we go, snap that in place. Arms fold up. I'm trying to remember how his arms fold up. Oh, they come up like, yeah, like they're weird. Come up like, no, they come up the other way. Rotate the other way. There we go. Come up like this. Come up like this. Oh, I'll pop that off the ball joint. Which is frustrating because this the way this ball joint's on a hinge, popping it off is painful to get back on. And we'll get back on. Give me one second. And there we go. We just got popped back on, and you just get it up here. There is a little uh groove in the arm that there's a tab here underneath the wing. It's kind of hard to see again, especially in the red transparent. But then fold the push the feet in from the front. And then uh like that, and then fold them back like that, and fold the nose cone down. There's one jet ready to go. There is a landing gear, again, just like before. Although getting it out is, am I going the wrong way? Nope. Yeah, whatever. There is a landing gear. Oh, there we go. I was going the wrong way. Well, whatever. Because he sits, right? Because of the weight distribution, he sits just fine without it. <laughs> Fold his head in and around. Fold this whole assembly around like that. Fold the arms up. And the fins down. Arm should fit all the way up in there. There we go. The feet to the inside together. And then just collapse this down. I thought there was a really subtle, like, warp effect paint on this, but it's actually just the grooves in the mold. But it looks really nice on the transparent red plastic. Um, as and as before, you can you can pop this handle off the peg if you don't want this. It takes a little bit of force. I'm not going to force it, but you can pop that handle off uh, from from here if you don't want that whole long peg sticking out the underside of the jet. And then same here. You just kind of again his head goes into his body. This flips up. The arms rotate around the post on the back there and up like that. Yeah, the the the, hint, the ball joint's actually coming out of the wing into the shoulder, so they just rotate up. And again, there's a little tab there underneath, and then the feet fold up straight like that. And then you just bring them kind of up, collapse them and around, and rotate them in like that. Collapse the leg, rotate it at the hip. Oh, there's a thigh, not the hip, the, the, the hip's a ball joint. There's a thigh swivel just below it. And then again, there's a little tab there that if you can get it Lined up, you can just peg that on and then flip the nose cone down, get that straight. Again, there is a little landing gear. You may need a small, the first time you get it out of there, you may need a small prying tool. I know I had to do that on the shield team for a couple of guys. But there are all the jets in their alt modes. And again, they're just shiny red. There's some nice metallic red detailing in a few spots on these guys as well. They really pop. Uh, they're really shiny. They look like candy. I do kind of want to like eat one because they, they do look tasty they're, but they're not sticky like candy which is good <laughs> and then the tra oh, uh, i'm just in one of those moods tonight so you take this transformation again the combination is exactly the same you lift that up and flip this piece out for the tab this jet tail fin goes between the tail fin and these little pegs here on the wings are going to peg in here into the backs of the feet there, like that. And then this peg right here, come down here, split this open. We'll extend them out a little bit and open them. I like to keep these a little closer to the body, but you can extend them out as much as you want. Um, 
so people have them really wide. And then they just plug it in like this. And just like before, it's actually, it's more solid than the old toy. Like you, you can shake it, you can wibble it. They're not, I mean like there, see that, that even bent, this bent and hinged before it popped out of there. It's actually pretty solid, uh, pretty solidly put together. You're not gonna, like if you, if you start smacking it around, you'll probably knock one of these guys loose. But uh, for the most part, it's not gonna fall or flop. It's a pretty solid uh, combination. And again, it can fit in any five millimeter peg hand down here. And then fans hobby figures have that little like tongue and groove system for weapons. So it has that up here. And we'll have, go ahead and have Megatron hold the red saber team. We'll go ahead and slide this. Again, the groove goes in there. Oh, don't worry, we're good. Why are you stuck to my elbow, piece of plastic? Um, there's Megatron holding, or I guess Tyra Tyranotron? Meg, Meg Tyranno, there we go. Uh, holding the Red Saber team. That, that, let's see if we can dim the lights a little bit on that. <laughs> like it's, I wanted the bright, lights to be bright to show off the Saber team, but now it's making Megatron look really blown out. But yeah, it's a gorgeous red color. It really pops as an evil version of the Star Saber, or just a corrupted version. I'm not entirely sure where the, the origin of the red one. It's been so long since I watched those cartoons. And honestly, I, I confess, I don't think I even watched every single episode of those cartoons. I read the comics uh, when ID, or not IDW, when Dreamwave was doing them. But, uh, but yeah, and then just real quick, there they are next to the standard Star Saber, or Saber Team, MB26. No new, uh, alphabetical tag there. But that, this is how I like to, I like to make this more as part of a sword than the hilt, but you can, if you want that to feel more like the hilt for the blade, you can do that. But yeah, it's a, it's a very gorgeous repaint of the set. Um, the, the red, like I said, the red really pops. It looks really good, um, both here with Megatron, and you'll get to see it uh, as well. We'll showcase it in the Black Naval Commander video review because he looks really great holding it. Um, but I'm waiting until we big reveal on that one. I want to get this one shot first. I don't want to. I don't want to show off Black Naval Commander until I have everything uh, squared away and showed off the weapons first. But anyway, there is Red Saber Team. It's it's a it's a nice repaint. Either one of these, they're very nice upgrades. And if you're getting the uh, fans hobby Armada figures, Armada homage figures, um, it, you, you want to get these. There, they're nice little additions to those sets. I, I know the uh, the Requiem Blasters coming. Um, I would like to see their take on Perceptor of, the, of that trio of, of mini cons, but we'll see if that ever comes to fruition. But I really would like to see. Either one, either their regular version or their upgraded Energon version. I think it was Energon they got. Anyway, either one of those versions would be cool. But there's the Red Saber team, MB26A from Fans Hobby. Uh, thanks for watching again. We'll have some more Fans Hobby videos coming. We've got the Shield team coming up. we got Black Naval Commander coming up. Um, and it looks like their, their tidal wave might be uh, getting real close to shipping. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Um, mostly because I've never had the the purple shockwave colors. I know Hasbro just did their big one, but like, I don't have room for another Titan class in my house. <laughs> um, I may still eventually cave on that one down the line, but I'm really looking forward to Fans Hobby's Naval Command or Tidal Wave to go with these guys here. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll move on to the Shield team here and uh, we'll see you soon. Actually, no, you know what? I teased it. I'll give you a quick look. There is uh, the Red Saber team with Black Naval Commander holding it. Uh, really, I, th I think the combined mode is more scaled to a sword this large, but yeah, just to give you a good look at it, there is Saber Team with Black Naval Commander. And again, we'll, we'll do a full, we'll do, we'll do more with it later. Cause like, I think it looks cool holding it in his smaller robot mode right now, but I don't feel like transforming him all the way back to small robot mode just for this quick little bit. But anyway, there's a teaser coming soon. You'll see it, I don't know, Monday.